All right, greetings everybody. It is news day and today we're going to be taking a look at both the global and the JP news because they are just so ding dong close together that we might as well. So without further ado, let's start with the JP news and segment into global news. So today, here it is. It is our next brand new character that is based on another story. And for anybody who was hoping it was Raph, Aha, I was right this time. Raf or Rafu, however you pronounce her name, is going to be coming later. Uh, she will be the final character for another story. So I guess the basically just the April 1st character. Um, do with that what you will. But so this character is pretty interesting for a lot of different reasons, as we'll get into, right? You know what? Just right now, screw it. So first off, he is considered to be a spear wielder. So checking his brand new weapon. Sorry, I got like a little sore on my mouth here. It's driving me nuts. Um, so yes, this is a spear weapon. And uh, it's not incorrect uh, for what people said. Basically, from the most recent story mission, we were able to see that this guy... Uh, did have a spear, and he was considered to be a trick lancer based on some of the data that we saw. And so we kind of thought that he was just going to be a new version of Oberyn, and that is incorrect because, as we find out here, he's a mage character. Uh, yeah, so that came out of nowhere. Uh, from as far as I know. So yeah, for when I originally thought he was going to be a mage, that turned out to be true, but it is a spear that he wields. So this is our first, I'm pretty sure our first magic spear character, which will make his own weapon incredibly important for him, as I can't think of another spear character that is a mage throughout the entire game. So main job will be Voidy McVoidfart. Uh, no, but a brand new job for is specifically for him sub jobs will be messenger slash uh red mage which is interesting because red mage is going to provide initial ap start if he didn't have it already and messenger provides some movement options so possibly a pretty good combination here and quite annoying taking a look at his kit it is i mean you can see that basically his Attacks are classed as magic base attacks. His top one, his limit burst, has a short range on, but deals a large damage and gives him single target resistance for three turns, as well as an HP regeneration effect. And uh, yeah, which is pretty curious combination because it, we're kind of getting an idea for what this character is supposed to be. Second ability is ability that only targets him. And we're looking at a defense increase that's possibly just a, a huge also resistance to debuffs, which is very interesting as well. And last but not least, a counter ability that uh, does look to deal with reactions. But I, I'm curious to see. I mean, like the last ability that we need to talk about is the bottom one that we're giving details on is again a large damage attack it also increases his own healing power and he has absorbed part of the damage done for healing himself so like if you take into account the fact that his uh, master ability has extra hp and just extra defense capabilities i i have to say that this character is looking Pretty interesting off the cuff so far. Uh, let me just double check this because it increases own defense for three turns greatly, increases weak resistance, uh, gives a reaction that has a chance to reduce damage when receiving damage from a physical attack. The amount of damage it increases depending on weakening or uh, receiving the uh, a weakening. So. Yeah, this, this character is really interesting. I mean, it's a spear, it's a magic spear user, which would almost be interesting enough on its own, but with short range and such high defensive capabilities, I think we're looking at an earth tank 
essentially, because he has a lot of self-healing. It looks like he has a ton of HP and also ways of increasing his defense and whatnot. This is by far one of the most curious characters I've come across, and I have to say, Diardro. Diar Diar Diardro. Yeah, let's go with that for at least for now. Um, pretty interesting for earth elemental people this might be just a absolutely mandatory get incredibly high synergy with kumash as well as oberin and just potentially king bradley for the hell of it but i mean it'll be really really interesting details on this character one now personally i am not a earth person so like my own thing is right now it's kind of just a skip because I don't think I'm going to be that interested in him. Yes, it's uh, interesting. Uh, Earth will also be getting an HP and magic attack up for Arena, so good news for wind hunting teams, I guess. And uh, the only last details that you can see here is uh, that he will have his training quest as per usual. Now, there is no indication that Rafu is also coming, so this is probably just going to be our one character for the beginning of the month. Uh, middle of March? Well, that will be later as to what it is. It could be Rafu, but very unlikely because of a certain holiday that's supposed to be happening. But let's talk about the Earth element for a second, because Globalers, you have two things this week. First off, you have Rurugia coming to the game, or as he is known, Rulgia. Rulgia? Ruglia? Uh, no, okay. Lugia? Alright, Pokemon reference out of the way. Alright, so. Rulgia. Uh, Rulgia, I think, is honestly found a bit of a groove uh, in the Earth element, but not really too many other places. This is a character that I've seen sparingly, but definitely have seen. And as a Earth elemental character, I'll just take a quick peek here and see see anything at the bottom of Uri. I, I think that his upgrades have taken him from being relatively just whatever to being fairly decent. I think he's pretty good, especially with King Bradley and whatnot coming around. His secondary hits can get through re-rays as well as guts. Uh, and both of those things can be rather important. So I would say that overall I'm think that Rulgia is better than when he first came out on JP, but probably look at him more as slightly long term. Like, I think if you have Q Mash and you're an Earth Elemental, he's definitely a good get. And with King Bradley later, that's just a really song, strong, up to date Earth Elemental team that is quite good into many elements. I wouldn't say that it's the strongest element, I just don't think it is that right now on JP from my experience, but it's capable of holding its own and pretty a pretty good overall. So the last thing that needs to be talked about is a collaboration with Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. The Crystal Chronicles remastered it is kind of having basically spurring a little bit more of a wait, why was there No, no, nothing updated. Uh, so the last thing is to do specifically not with the In Search of Mer. Uh, we see it is the Keepers of the Crystal UR Vision Card, which to this day is the only real fire attack up party UR BC. Do not skip on this if you have any interest in being a fire player i mean it is i think just an absolutely necessary one get it max it the bestowed effects of defense up and evade down aren't even really that much of a concern but really just the fire attack up is just so important especially if you're interested in kefka roy mustang or yuffie still then definitely get that crystal chronicles bc and enjoy so yes uh that's basically the news for now. I'm going to keep some other stuff out of this video because it will be in my monthly summary at the end of the month video. 
if you want. Come chat with it, me on stream tonight about this weird new character and we'll see what his details look like later this week. As for people are maybe interested, may, uh, like if I do a little bit more in Arena this week, I can probably find some Rurugia footage to show off for you guys in a separate video. And other than that, um, happy Pokemon Day to all of you guys. And then hopefully there's some good news tonight since nothing at the Sony. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. And we'll see if this guy is going to be a major game changer on Earth.